Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another full week of triathlon training. And I say full because I've just been for my Monday swim. Um, without being too much of a whinge, I'm a bit disappointed really. Doug set me the first kind of interval session today. So it was four times 300 meters, three times 200, three times 100. And I just wasn't able to make the kind of the quicker paces. Um, start off great and then just fade. And it's really frustrating me that I'm I'm swimming slower than I was. And I know that's natural because I've not really been in the pool properly for a good 12 months, more than 12 months. But uh, I'm probably just impatient. I'm probably just impatient. <sighs> this session is going to be worse than tomorrow's session is going to be. So I've got to look at it on a positive note. Anyway, tomorrow is a bike session. I will see you for that in just a second. Welcome to Tuesday. Just been out for a lunchtime run. Uh, the work part of the work of the session was 35 minutes for zone 2 power uh, followed by 6 20 second strides all felt good to be honest I'm not sure what the the pace was I think I think it was reasonable kind of 4 4 minute 20 I think per K something like those and, and it's first run out with my uh, Saucony Endorphin Pros they're very nice, they're very nice indeed. Uh, and I've combined them today with the socks I intend to use for the triathlon ra for the races. So this is kind of my foot setup. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about is what kind of laces or what to use for the for the race. I use uh, some kind of speed laces and I'm wondering whether I can put those in because I know that the Saucony apparently suffers from heel slip, but that's that's a test for another day. Anyway, that's it. Good session. I'm going to go home, get back to work, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, swim, swim and bike tomorrow, I think. Welcome to Thursday. Didn't pick up the camera yesterday. It's not to say I was lazy, but for some reason I just didn't. So, yesterday lunchtime, I went for a swim, which was really good. Pace definitely improving. Uh, feel for the water's back as well, but oh, a bit frustrated. I was doing, I've been doing my swims in the 6 a.m. slot, and I wasn't able to get into that yesterday, so I ended up doing a lunchtime session. And whereas at six o'clock you've got the swimmers in, at lunchtime you don't. So I had to put up with a couple of people doing breaststroke. Uh, breaststroke in the fast lane which which isn't a major problem but when you're trying to do sets it's just it's just irritating so and usually the people that are not great swimmers are not very kind of aware of their surroundings either and that probably makes me sound like a complete snob so apologies if it does but i definitely had lane rage yesterday anyway that was lunchtime a really good session speed back feel for the water back uh, I was swimming around about 130, 4 per 100, kind of consistently. So a couple of seconds per 100 back off. Uh, once I get my endurance up, we'll see me kind of around about where I want to be for the half Ironman. Um, and then last night, I went for a mountain bike ride. Just really straightforward, easy. Felt really good, actually. During the day, I had a bit of cramp in my legs from the swim, but that had gone by the time I got out onto the bike. Just just a mess around it wasn't like kind of a training session it's it's good to go and do some bike riding with your mates a bit of piss take a bit of a bit of laugh and they don't give a damn that i'm doing power and all that sort of stuff as i said last week it's just a chance to chew the fat and take the mick which i love and it's definitely it's definitely needed because i'm taking some training pretty seriously at the moment and then today so Today is a zone two, a zone two easy run. Now what I should have done on Tuesday, really. So <laughs> for some reason on Tuesday, I got my session completely, completely backwards. So Doug had put me in for 35 minute zone two effort, effort, zone two uh, with a couple of 20 second strides at 
zone four. And I took a kind of half ass look at it as I was walking at the door, saw the zone four stuff. And instead of running 35 minutes of zone two, I ran 35 minutes of zone four. So I properly kicked my own butt. Did some great, great pace. Really pleased with it. Yeah, did some great, got a great pace. Really pleased with the session, but it was completely not what I should have done. So much Mickey taking as a result. Anyway, today's session is 45 minutes in zone two with a couple of strides at the end. And I am, I am taking nice and steady today. Running to power as always, just nice and kind of 240 watts and all that. I do quite like this stride unit. Uh, back in my U balance today, gotta say, I have reached for my sore knees. I'm very much in love with those trainers after one run. Looking forward to using them again for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this run. I'll put the date up on screen now for what the run will be. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for, I think it's a bike session first. No, swim. Swim then bike. Uh, welcome to Friday. Uh, today's been a double session. So this morning I did a swim, 40 minutes, two and a half K. It was just hard work from pretty much the first first length. My arms was hard. Uh, feeling just probably a bit of cumulative fatigue. I've swam uh, about eight, seven and a half, eight K this week. Uh, and then I've just done a Zwift session, an over and under session. The work portion was six times, three and a half minutes at 240 watts, and then 40 seconds at 294. This week's been really run heavy bike light. It feels like ages since I've been on the bike. Um, my legs are tired. Uh, it's been a, it's been a good week of training. Um, some kind of some good good miles done. So um, yeah, feeling cumulatively tired today. Uh, right, that's it. I'm going to get off the bike, go and have a shower, grab some tea, and I'll see you tomorrow for a two-hour bike session. And um, it's going to be on the road. Welcome to Saturday. A two-hour ride today. Um, it's been absolutely glorious. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's proved out, out of practice I'm riding on the road. I got uh, I got 15 miles down the road and realised I didn't have my water bottles with me and I didn't have any gels so I've done two hours with no water and it's been really hot so I'm properly properly parched I'm really thirsty luckily I've got about a K to go um, I've done it'll be about 60 about 60k by the time I get home. Uh, two hours and uh, seven minutes, maybe two hours and eight. So pretty pleased with that, especially on no water, um, no kind of nutrition at all. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Power feels good. Um, Seems to be put out some reasonable watts on the bike, so happy. Anyway, uh, that's it. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is 10k pace efforts on a run so I'll see you for that. So this is video editing me and I've just been looking through the footage and I'm a bit disappointed with myself really because I didn't pick up the camera for a couple of days last week. Now Wednesday uh, was really good I had a great ride a mountain bike ride and a really good swim so I've missed a good opportunity to kind of uh, show, show the trails and stuff we rode on Wednesday I, I know I talked about it a little bit on Thursday and then Sunday um, didn't take the camera with me again and I'm disappointed for a very different reason and that is that I didn't mention on uh, when I was talking about it a second ago in the last 20 minutes of that ride my back started to really hurt my QL so the same places I've had back pain previously um, and I was kind of sitting up and stretching the ride up until that point had been absolutely brilliant I got loads of PRs I got a couple of top tens um, on local climbs feeling really strong on the bike really really enjoying it but I just didn't feel great at the end of that ride. My back was really quite painful and that got worse as Saturday evening progressed. Now Sunday was three times eight minutes at 10K pace. A Doug had set a, a kind of time frame for me to, to kind of t to target. Um, and I started off the first effort and just knew straight away I wasn't gonna hit the time. My back was really painful. Um, 
I tried to do it, but I just didn't. And, and in the end, I ended up running the effort, but just kind of just running the effort, not like kind of hard running. Um, uh, did the first effort and then turned around and came home. And unfortunately, I had to kind of jog or walk home. Um, it took me quite a while to get home because I was having to stop every couple of minutes and stretch my back. Now, the, the, the kind of blame for that lies purely in my feet because of the fact that I wasn't disciplined last week and I didn't do my stretching, I didn't do my kind of pre prehab exercises that I've become quite religious in. And I really believe that's the reason my back flared up. Um, my back has been feeling really good. And I've said this before, but you kind of, you rehab your ass off until it stops hurting and then you stop. Or I, I have previously, and I've talked about this in kind of other videos about this kind of almost point of self-destruction where I get to a point, I'm really, my training's flying, I'm feeling really good. And then I self-destruct somehow. And I think that's a classic example of where that's happened in that my back has been feeling better. Stopped doing the exercises for a couple of nights uh, and then a couple more nights and then I have a have a have a problem occur uh, you know my, my, my training is derailed and I want to talk about this whole kind of discipline thing in another video and I'm, I'm kind of formulating my thoughts around it at the moment but yeah it was actually quite disappointing because I knew that I'd done it to myself uh, anyway that's it I don't want to get to kind of too negative about stuff but uh, a bit of a disappointing end to what had actually been up until that point a really really good week of training um, really good and a full week of a full week of travel training as well so Rolo's just coming through the door. Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you again next week for another good week of triathlon training. Cheers, guys.